All right, what is going on everybody? I have some amazing guests here. We're gonna basically do an hour long panel. We're just gonna talk about some really unique strategies on how these amazing leaders in the company are taking this business by storm. These are all great friends of mine that we've known for a very long time and we've sort of been on this journey for quite a while and I wanna really just have this be an open discussion, something more relaxed. We had a little meetup before and talked and said, you know what, let's just keep this open, keep it relaxed, keep it chill and just let this kind of evolve as is because these are all amazing individuals. So what I'm gonna do really quick is I'm actually gonna introduce each one of the people that are on this panel, give a little bit about their background and why they're here, and then we're just gonna open up with some questions and see where it goes from there. So first is one of my close, close friends, Cameron Kirkar. I've known this guy for nearly nine years, and Cameron is someone that we actually used to live together when we first got involved in this industry. We were working our butts off, trying to really just have our first win, trying to really just hit those first ranks in a company. And when we got involved in this industry, we joined a company, not like Avoria Prime. The company that we joined had thousands and thousands of people in it and we just said hey man let's just sacrifice everything and go all in that's what cam's done you know cam has really made the business a huge priority in his life and that's why he's been able to create the freedom that cameron has now and he's done a really really good job building relationships with people taking those relationships and just making them so so contagious where these people are always reaching out to him not just for questions about the business but for true mentorship uh, and that's one of the reasons why i really look up to cam and what he's done so next we have my great friend calvin frazier now calvin is the the king of attraction marketing. This guy is a marketing wizard. I swear, when we're doing these events, we're traveling, we're all together, I'll see Calvin get like a, someone takes a picture of him, right? And I swear, I see someone take a picture of him and I'll go to my phone and I'll maybe send a message and by the time I'm done sending the message, the picture's already completely edited, posted on his Facebook, posted on a story, it's got like 27 likes, I mean 27 comments, like 100 likes, and I was like, didn't you take the photo 10 seconds ago? The guy just understands branding and from that, he's been able to bring in a ton of people into his business. You know, Calvin actually, was part of the unique partnerships to some of the uh, developers for our business. You know, Nathan was introduced to this company by Calvin, and Calvin's been able to really capitalize on his relationships to build up AP in general. So Calvin's done a really good job in that sense also. Now, moving to EA development. You know these products are not as simple as they sound. These products, they require some complex programming, coding, and working with a lot of people that are doing the other side of things, the things that we don't wanna to have to deal with, right? We wanna get in the company, let the trades hit, see those take profits come in, and relax on the Saturdays knowing that we had a good week prior. But this individual is the one that is working his butt off, communicating with developers and programmers and stress testing products, and developed his own EA to release to the company, which is you know obviously Gearbox, and that's Tyler McKechnie. And Tyler has done a wonderful job just always being available in the groups you know when you're around Tyler in person you'll see him on his phone a lot and you're like man Tyler like what's going on let's talk but he's literally responding to so many different people and he's always been available to help people very quickly so it's been able to be very very beneficial for all the people in the business to see success uh, and then lastly we have someone that really is a mentor to me and so many of the people in Avoria Prime this is an individual that's had a lot of success in this industry and for you know us you know being in this industry seeing him partner with Avoria Prime it's it's almost like um, it, like you get nervous because of what he's done it's like I can't believe this person's even in the room at events with us because of his accomplishments this is someone that's built a legacy income and not just one company and not just two companies but in multiple companies and has been able to to create consistent passive income in multiple different verticals. He's been able to use that money to invest into many other businesses in many different verticals, take companies public, put in a lot of different strategies to create wealth, and that is Nick Sorensen. So, guys, it is awesome having all of you here. I know this has been a fun week for me. I know you guys have had a blast too. So, uh, my first question actually is to you, Nick. You know, you, I would say, are arguably one of the most uh, accomplished out of the people in this uh, company. I would say, I think a lot of us would agree with the things you've done in other businesses. Uh, for some of you guys that don't know, Nick has built teams of hundreds. Yes, I said hundreds of thousands of people, right? So, Vori Prime, you know, we have a, a group of about 10,000 individuals. Nick has managed teams 10X that size. So he comes from a background with a lot of experience. So, you know, the first question I have for you is, what about this company in this multi-billion dollar year industry attracted you to want to take a look at it and now become a leader in this business as well? I mean, it's, I mean, it's, it's what we can create with our products. I mean, when I first took a look at this thing, it sounded way too good to be true, was very skeptical, but like you said, well, I'm always trying to diversify money and create income. And uh, after I saw the results of what the product did, I, it just hit me and I said, this product line and what this company's doing, 
will literally give everybody what they look for in this industry. And that's every person when they first join anywhere, any company, they want more time, they want more money, right? To get that, we've seen it, right? You have to build a big team. Mm -hmm. But with our product line, you can do that. You can get more time, you can get more money, just becoming a customer. Yeah. And I saw how valuable that was because, you know, for the last decade, uh, you know, we've all sacrificed. We, 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 my wife and I, we've worked our absolute tails off to get to that. And is it possible for everyone to do it? 100% it is, okay? Um, but it's a lot of work and a lot of sacrifices. And when I saw, hey, you can do this as a customer, I said, we will help more people become financially free because of these products. And because of that, I'm like, man, we gotta go help the world and tell the world. Sure, yeah, and, and you know, Cameron, you weren't a trader before this product and this technology fell, fell on your lap. You know, you were uh, in sales, right? You've done uh, solar, you've done uh, traditional network marketing with health and wellness and product-based businesses. Uh, share how, you know, kind of like Nick, he, you found these products, you fell in love with them, and you felt this this duty to share it with people, which is really cool, you know, that moral compass. It's like, wow, I, I need to share this with people. Uh, will you kind of explain to everyone how you just being a normal affiliate for companies found trading, found these products, found just the, the markets in general, fell in love with it, and now you have a huge role for this company in, in terms of understanding our products and the trading experience as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, kind of like what Nick was talking about, the power of someone that, that um, can come in and start to use our products and start to win. When I started testing these products, I, the, the hair was standing on the back of my, my neck. I was like, if this actually works, this could be the most powerful thing to ever hit this industry. And um, having prior success in the industry, I knew that this would create a very organic um, uh, sort of situation with customers and affiliates where people are automatically gonna share it. So for me, I was, I was just starting to trade, I was looking at the markets, um, I bought a couple courses, and, um, and I, was, I was in that learning phase. I, in, in what that means really in the learning phase of a trader is someone who's failing which means that they're losing money. You're, you're not profitable in the learning phase. Even if you have a couple big wins, you're gonna to continue to think you're gonna have a couple big wins. And I'm talking about manual trading here where you're spending hours and hours and hours learning and, and, and spending your time using technical analysis to make decisions. Now, with our products, because they're so powerful, they help us make those decisions. Um, depending on what products you're using, it, it puts the power of, of, of leveraging technology. And when, that, when I saw that, it just, it, it made complete sense. And it made me want to dive in, learn more, understand the products even more, and see how we could optimize it um, for them to work better, for them to be uh, more conservative, more consistent. And it just, it, it got me to become almost obsessed with making sure that people could come into this thing and win, and that's what we have. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I would be the first to say, you know, I, when it comes to our products, uh, I, I use the products, but I would be one of the customers that is like the traditional customer that didn't have a big background in trading and doesn't stare at the charts all day and think of all the different things that they can tweak. I use the products as a normal customer, love the results that I get and share those results, right? I'm just the traditional normal customer. Tyler, you came from a digital marketing background. You came from a background that had nothing to do with Forex. Uh, you were building sales funnels, running ads, uh, similar to what I've done as well with digital marketing, leveraging the internet to uh, sell and offer different affiliate products. And you went from digital marketing and that world, which has nothing to do with Forex, to the other side of the spectrum, the other extreme, where you're now developing software and programs itself. So will you share with everyone kind of what that transition was from, like Cameron, right, seeing what this was, it falling on your lap, and that's on one side of the spectrum, and now it's gone completely to the other side where you created an actual software for the company to use that now thousands of people are using and are getting great results from. Yeah, I think the biggest part of that was I came in and I saw the power in different products and what was on the market, but I saw where there were flaws in different things I was testing. And I went on this search to say, how can I make things better? How can I enhance things, right? I want better products to manage my own money with, right? Because I went on this journey where the initial reason I even got involved in the first place in using softwares was to be a customer. Right? I was pretty uh, you know, over uh, traditional marketing and affiliate offers and just kind of was starting to really get into trading. And when I saw the power in this product, it just relit up that affiliate side initially in me. And then as I started using those products, I went on this journey to say, how can I make things better? How can I enhance things? How can I make this an easier experience for people? Because I got passionate about seeing people succeed and, and get results uh, because 
for many years I struggled to trade. I was, uh, it was a big psychology thing. I would, you know, start to become overly aggressive, over leverage my accounts, try to hit home runs. I started turning into uh, more of the gambling mindset, and I realized, well, software isn't going to get that emotional uh, decision. You know, it's programmed to do what it's programmed to do. So if I can just design things that are conservative enough, people can manage their money with just like I wanted to, that I saw that we could make a huge difference in the world. And, you know, that's what turned into saying, hey, let's go find the best products in the world and, and get them here under a Warrior Prime's house. Yeah. Calvin, you could literally sell anything. I mean, you could you could literally sell any product and people are gonna ask for your link. I mean, we've, we've seen uh, how charismatic you are at communicating with people, influencing groups, and this isn't your first rodeo. You've been in the industry for a little bit. I feel like you have a good understanding of this industry. Some people get involved, they see one company and they think they know the whole industry and they just know a sliver of what this space is. You've been around the ringer, you've been around stuff, you've seen the good, you've seen the bad. How are our products, how is AP different from our competitors and from things that you've seen and people that you've worked with? And what is it about this company that made you go, okay, this is different from stuff that I've done in, in the past? Um, I sold air a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I sold air a lot. And the, the fact that we actually have a product that really generally works and I could actually get feedback from customers, getting results, that makes me happy. See. Going back seven years ago when I came into this industry, I had no choice but to pick an industry because I was tired of my job. I was tired of being a full-time student at school. My student loans was crazy and I didn't know what to do. So back then, I just did anything. It was just all or nothing. But moving forward, the fact that we have an innovative product that actually caters to customers that want to get results and not just for the company's benefit, but for the benefits of the actual customer, it made it much easier for me to sell it you see because i'm not even selling the product i'm selling the excitement i'm selling what is possible to other individuals so these products actually gets results i saw a lot of companies out here that sell hype we don't sell hype over here it's yeah. just, we don't sell hype over here <laughs> at all because <laughs> it doesn't make any sense because i feel like if you sell hype people get excited for the first few weeks few days 30 days and then they're done yeah and mm -hmm. the fact that people could tell their brother sister mother father and say you know what I actually got results. You told me I wasn't gonna be able to do it, and I actually did it. Yeah. This is the funny thing is that I had a lot of people that told me, just like Lo said earlier, that I wasn't gonna make it, that my decisions that I made wasn't gonna amount to anything. And the fact that we actually have something that could get these people results so that we could build together, build a community, that's what makes it worthwhile, and that's the strongest thing that we have. And to, to add on a little bit to that, um, you mentioned that uh, TMAC, uh, Tyler, you mentioned that uh, you know, you just wanted to be a customer. Mm -hmm. And that's such a common theme with this company. I, I know all of us have shared this with people that are like, look, I don't want another affiliate deal. I just want to, you know, you're saying this works. I'm seeing incredible results. I just want to use this um, just for the product. And, and as someone that is a marketer, if you're watching this or someone that wants to turn the marketing up, focus on the results focus on the people that are winning. And, and ultimately, if you're, especially someone like yourself, um, you're, you can just collect the testimonials. And if you can get those testimonials in front of people's faces, then mm -hmm. that's let the product sell itself. And that's why I think we have something so powerful and why the, the building process, and I know we're gonna get touch on this in a, in a bit, is so, I don't wanna say easy, because you have to get up and grind and, and, and work and get after it mm. um, consistently. And you might not have the best day, you might not have the best week, but you gotta keep going. But it's, it, it's simple. And, it, and if, if you make it work, it's going to work. And I personally, I've never been involved with something that's so simple. And, and to me, it's, it's just turnkey. If you follow what other people are doing, especially in this, and you don't try to cut any corners, you start to see you start to see huge success stories start to happen, not just with um, uh, the affiliate side, but with the products. Yeah, you know, it's funny to piggyback on what Calvin said. You know, one of the things he mentioned, he said, I don't sell excitement, I sell results. And we're in an industry mm -hmm. that has so much hype. You know, we're in an industry that has so many people inflating things. And it's funny, you know, it, it actually what you said, uh, it reminded me of uh, something that I saw. It was probably one of the dumbest things I've ever seen a marketer in this industry too. Probably one of the stupidest things I've ever, ever, ever seen. Someone hit me up and showed me a video in a Facebook group. And this guy literally posts a Facebook video explaining how you can take $500 and turn it into like 600 grand in two years. And he uses this example saying, if you compound 1% 
every single day in two years, you'll have 600 grand. And we all know there's what, 240 days in the year in the markets, right? Not 365 and he goes, in this example, we're gonna pretend that you're compounding 1% every single day, seven days a week. Well, that right there makes no sense. But hypothetically, you know, 1% a day for a month is not even 30%. That 1% is compounding. It's like almost 50%. So he's then saying our products could even do more than that. We've seen them do more than that. So this is very realistic. This is very easy to do. And he, he creates this scenario <laughs> where if you took $500 and compounded it every single day by 1% for two years, you have over half a million dollars, right? And I'm thinking this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen someone do in this industry. And here's why is because people may purchase, right? To get involved, give me the link. I want to do that but you set the bar all the way up here. And if they don't meet that now, what's gonna happen? They'll beat you up. They're gonna beat you up. They're gonna say, <laughs> give me my money back, and they're gonna cancel. You know, I was talking with, uh, with some of the execs uh, earlier, and I'm not gonna give specific numbers, obviously, but uh, the cool thing about this company is the transparency. One of the execs showed, you know, where we're at as a company in terms of revenue, right, our monthly revenue. And in comparison from the revenue that we did this month to the refunds, right, the people that actually wanna return uh, for their money, right, for the money they spent on the product, it's a fraction a fraction of what you actually see in the volume that we do in our sales. And that's the type of stuff you don't see publicly with MLMs. You know, you don't see in this industry people come up and just go, oh, well, here's the amount of revenue we did this month and here's how many people returned their product, right? They, they put it under the rug, they brush it under the rug, right? Uh, and with us, you know, these are fractions. The stats that we have is, is wild. So one question I have for you, Nick, is you've seen a lot of different companies in your experience in this industry. You've done really well in product-based companies too. Uh, some of us have done product-based companies as well and has built uh, those. And for those of you who don't know, product-based means uh, a physical product gets shipped to your house. Maybe it's uh, skincare, maybe it's makeup, maybe it's protein powder, but it normally requires a place for it to be built and then uh, they're creating it and they ship it to your home, you have it, you use it, you get it next month, right? So that's what I mean by product. We're obviously not, we're service-driven business. So you've seen product-based businesses, you've created uh, legacy income in companies like that. What are the differences that you notice in a business like this compared to some of the pitfalls that you've seen in those types of companies? Well, I mean, a lot of times just growth, right? You know, when you talk about going from a certain dollar amount to a larger amount, there's with every company, right, there's scalability. And so when you talk about a, a, a actual pure physical product, creating it, shipping it, delivery, there's so many different things that, go, that are involved there. With here, mm -hmm. when it is actually a service, right, and when it's a software that's much simpler to scale up, you can. Now here, right, the scalability is getting your team ready to get set up, right? So everything has its thing you have mm -hmm. to learn. The key is, uh, is finding you know, the simplest way to help people go from not knowing anything right to clicking approve on their phone and having success mm -hmm. and uh, from the time I first jumped on the software when Cameron set me up you know a, a while back to where we are now we've made so much strides and when I look at any company and their success trajectory um, all I ever look for is progress and the amount of mm -hmm. progress we've made here has been absolutely incredible like every single product has gotten simpler the setup process has gotten simpler the back office has gotten simpler payout is you know is just is right on time and so you know seeing companies scale up always go through growing pains right it's just yeah. inevitable with every company but with here we've progressed and gotten better every single week every single month and that's all you want to look for yeah absolutely so here's a general question all of you guys who've been in this business for a little bit you know we're hitting the 10 month marks so all of you have been experienced you all have teams you work with you develop and we have a lot of people that uh, maybe they've been in Avori Prime for 10 months, but they've been in the trading space for a little bit. They've been in the Forex space for a little bit. And, you know, we've talked about the value of getting someone set up, finding that quick result. And then really a lot of you here, we're trying to promote. Like we're trying to share this. We're trying to get this out, right? We're trying to rank advance. We're trying to drive volume and we're trying to drive sales. You know, we have such a good product. Sometimes I feel like it's easy to forget that you don't need to just be a customer. You can share this with other people. Or on the other side of the spectrum, you know, as you mentioned, Calvin, there's a lot of people that just join something, they start selling. Now, they make money doing that though, right? Doesn't really, if, if it adds even a little bit of value, they sell all day and they recruit. What do you think, and this is an open question, even the wants to just piggyback off of it, what do you think this company needs? What's the next step so that the people that are on this virtual event, the new people that come in over the next 90 days, what are the things that they need to learn and, and be able to apply so they just start recruiting. They just start sharing the plan. They just start getting more people to click the link, get in the system, and without waiting 30 days, 90 days, they just start recruiting and getting people in Avori Prime. Results. I mean, you know, a couple people have already hit on it. This is data, it's math, right? When you see the results, whether you've uh, been on, this, on the product for a day, 
or a week or you know taking a look at someone else's results like when you see that to me that was belief in itself mm. right and it's just math and you know someone you asked me a little bit earlier like what I saw here it was I've been in an industry where you would create legacy income by building massive teams and it's not possible for everybody mm -hmm. time energy resources it's tough it's hard um, I always call it the unicorn in the industry right we're always sold that you can come in just get three right and you're good <laughs> and uh, everything will take care of itself and we know that's not true you got to apply yourself but you know the true uh, you know time freedom financial freedom mailbox money beach money to me it was a unicorn right does it truly exist mm -hmm. yes if you get a horse, slap a horn on its head and paint it, yeah, right? But it's a horse. Here with these products, when you see the results, right? I can't not share them. And that's where we came mm -hmm. from. We had the conversation months ago and I'm like, hey, what do you think? I'm like, I wanna tell the world about this thing because I wanna help as many people get financially free. So when you see results, you've gotta go share. You gotta take people with you. Right, right. Definitely, and I just feel like understanding your destination. Because if you're committed to the destination, you'll realize how to get to the money. So a lot of individuals, they don't know what their product is. Like one thing that I do when I get involved in an opportunity, I look at it, I see what everyone is not doing. And I try to take advantage of, I call it market analysis. Like I try to figure out what can I do better? How can I utilize a product? How can I get the information? Where's the information needed so that I could elevate my business? I'm actually game planning my world takeover from the very beginning. And a lot of individuals have to realize that the easiest way, like you said, to sell is to get results. So how can I get results if I don't know where I'm going? Mm. So being committed and intentional about the destination, then planning it out and then getting your results makes, makes it you know, way easier to tell somebody where to go because a lot of individuals, they understand what you're selling, but they need a plan, mm. just to be honest. Mm. Yeah. And sharing those results, like we talked about, like the craziest thing here, the longer I've been here, the better my results have got. Right. right? So you look at a product company, like mm -hmm. you mentioned earlier, right? Yeah. Like an actual physical product that you consume. Most of those results are shared one time. Like you may lose weight, right? Or you may have a, a skincare product that makes you a little prettier for a short period of time. Right. Right. So before and after photo, right? But do those do those results usually get better over time? Most time, most time not. Yeah. So they go back and share that over and over and over and over again, or someone new's coming on. But your personal results, okay, using these products can continually get better and better and better. So mm. going out and sharing it, you have success one day, right? You have a, a one day win, share it. Then you have a two day win, sure, mm. right? One week, one month. And if you have that mindset, okay, well I'll share it when it gets to this point. No, one day is yeah. a success. Get out and share that because guess what? That takes a skeptic from a believer just like that. And you, the follow up system, you know, we say the magic magic happens from the eighth to 12th time. That could be eight days of trading yeah. here, which is crazy. Totally, which is so cool that you can just create a journey for yourself. Um, I know a lot of people use FX books. Um, that's personally how I, uh, I, I track all my results. And you can share that journey and, and bring people along this journey with you um, day in, day out, week in and week out, and month in and month out. And it almost becomes more exciting. When the longer that I'm talking to somebody and they haven't pulled the trigger yet, it kind of just makes the, makes the conversation easier and easier and easier. And again, it comes back to the value that this company is delivering on. Um, I mean, for 99 uh, US dollars, you can run a, a, one of the subscriptions. Now for myself, I, I run three, um, but you can run one subscription and it just gets better and better and better. It, it's a no brainer. And obviously you guys are watching this, you guys are already using our products and you guys are already excited and ready to go. But but think about kind of what's the end game. Think about what you can be uh, doing to help other people see how this can work for them and how in insert this kind of hypothetically into their life on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis. And then they're gonna see, hmm, you know, if I had gotten started with Cameron, if I had gotten started with Tyler, with Nick, with Calvin, you know, a month ago, two months ago, three months ago, this is what, it could have potentially done for me. And I think that there's so much power in the marketing side and sharing this with people and that story just gets, like I said, better and better. Mm. Kyle, do you have any thoughts? Uh, I think the biggest thing is people just need to focus on getting better results, learning the products more, right? That, that aspect of what our business is, is a lot of excited customers. Mm. And the truth is just like when I came in, I was an excited customer, I didn't really want to market. But as you start getting results, you want to tell everybody about it. So 
I think the big thing is people need to tune in more to the education. Uh, I, I don't know if we hone in enough on the live uh, education that these products have and the value that all the developers have to bring every single customer in this business. And really for them to be able to lean on that to refer other people from a complete product standpoint of, look, it's very simple. You can come in and not only are you on your, you're not on your own, you have the developers to learn from and lean on every single week, mm -hmm. right? Because as those people get those results, they're gonna wanna build, they're gonna wanna share. It's, it's only natural. If you are mm -hmm. making money and watching your money grow, mm -hmm. how do you not tell somebody about that? Yeah. That just, it, it makes no sense. And if you're not a trader, if you're not someone that's been in the, in the, uh, in the uh, financial markets before, um, I think that, that this, what the company has done from a platform standpoint, and I'm gonna go a little bit deep, deeper on what yeah. you're saying. Um, and if you're, so let's say you just got on board, you've been on board for two weeks, um, you're about to uh, uh, fire up maybe another software or you're about to go live, whatever your situation is, you can go and learn on a week to week basis from the developers, from Steve Vetterall, our chief market analyst, um, from the different people that are running calls. There's, there's multiple leaders that I know that run even extra calls for you to learn. Now, if you're someone that's, that uh, just got started, but you don't know anything about trading, you guys can add on to this and, and attest to this. If you don't know anything about trading, you don't need to be the one that's answering all the trading questions. Mm -hmm. You guys are seeing the past. You guys are seeing what's, what's, what's already been working. So you don't need to go and say, oh, I need to learn everything about this market before you can share with anyone. You, that's why we have our products. That's why we're leveraging technology is so that we don't have to do all of the heavy lifting. And that's what I think is the most powerful thing. So if you're building, if you're just starting your business and you're starting, you're wanting to share this more, don't feel like you have to be this index of knowledge of that, that knows everything about the market. You don't need to become Steve Vetterall. Um, you, don't, you don't need to become uh, the developer of the product to be able to answer questions. Just drive people to the tools yep. that are happening consistently. And this is not just like of one video. You can go and jump on live calls and get in the chat box that asks questions. Hey, why did this happen? Hey, why did this happen? So if you're, if you're building, don't focus on learning everything right now. Just take 15, 20 minutes if you're really trying to put more time into learning, maybe an hour a day. And I would say in the first month to two months, you'll have it pretty much down. But I find personally, and I'm kind of going to ask you guys a question, uh, per, uh, preference, um, I find that, that when learning, you, there's so much to, to dive into so that I just drive people to the, um, to the tools. And when I do so, I find that someone figures it out quicker and then I'm moving on to the next thing. I'm moving on and being able to share it with more people. So um, for you guys, how, how did you guys start immediately sharing it? Did you wait a while? What was your guys's? Uh, I would say the big that. thing is the lean on the fact that there are experts, like you said, like when somebody asks you about the product and you're new and you want to share it, you can lean on the fact that, look, that's what's so great about this product is I don't have that much education yet. I'm pretty new to this, but I'm succeeding. I'm winning and my results are here to back it. And, and the reason that I'm having results is because there's experts I can plug into. You can really lean on the fact, hey, we have expert advisors right from the software and then we have expert people on the development staffs to actually lead and show you exactly what they're doing on a week-to-week -week basis so if you can lean on that you again don't need to be the most advanced person just immediately say that and because of that I started sharing within my first week or two once I started seeing results I went from I have no interest in building this business and I know Derek remembers that conversation yeah. I was like you know I, I have no interest I'll use the product if it works I might refer a few people mm -hmm. and you know we saw what that turned into at one yeah. point it's just you just, uh, you have to see it for yourself and simplify it. Lean on the fact that you aren't the expert. A lot of people get overly uh, complex and wanting to share this because they're afraid of saying the wrong thing. And you can't say the wrong thing. Just lead with your results and lead with the tools, like Cameron said. You know, share a story, right? Uh, I, someone shared this with me, wasn't quite sure about it, jumped on, they got set up. And day one, here's my results. Day two, here is my results. Day five, here is my results. Like validate, verified results. Share that story, right? Whether you're ready to share or not, start talking about it. Yeah. Okay, start sharing it because when you call that person, maybe two weeks later, a month later, and they third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh uh, exposure, right? So you don't have to be perfect. Exactly what Cameron said. Don't be an expert. When I first said, "Hey, I'm going to learn this," my goal was to learn one thing per week. I was yeah. crazy busy. Um, there was no way I could like just go all in and plug on a thing and learn everything all at once. But guess what? Shared my story. Here's my story. 
Didn't think it was true, right? Sounded too good to be true. Um, Cameron helped me get set up, started using the software, and before too long, I'm like, man, this stuff works. You should take a look at this. Like, literally that simple, right? And you have a story here, legitimately, day one. I got set up. I got an, I got an, an alert. I clicked approve, right? It's pretty cool how it works. Share that story. You don't have to have a massive story. And some of the people that I've shared it with, it literally is because, hey, this thing's pretty cool. You should take a look at this because I see something big here and it may not have been good timing for them, but down the road when it was, you know, two weeks or a month or six weeks or eight weeks down the road and it's still working like, okay, great. I'm ready now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, definitely. So I'm more the aggressive type. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't notice with your jacket. No. <laughs> more the aggressive type. Like I, I try to share as I like it's it. Fine. It's fine. It's fine. I like to share as soon as possible. So like you said, you yeah. get a story, get results. Like it's all the same thing. Yeah. I want to be able to get results as fast as possible. So my philosophy is going through the experts, going through the onboarding process as fast as possible, being able to provide the plan for the individual and get the results mm -hmm. so they can see that. Because at the end of the day, repeating again, if you do not provide a plan, some you can't push people past the belief they're ready to see, period. So I put the belief in myself. So if I'm able, like myself, I'm not a trader at all. And that's something that I'm proud to say because with products like this and Avoid Prime, it was able to change my way of thinking about trading because I was very intimidated mm. about Forex because I fell asleep, lost money. But you are profitable <laughs> in the market. Yeah, profitable. <laughs> <Absolutely. laughs> now I am. Right. <laughs> exactly, because of these tools. And because I didn't pass over opportunities because I realized that passing over opportunities repeatedly, poor, was something that was gonna keep me poor, and poor is a mindset. And I realized that if I'm thinking that way, the way that I build, I have to instill that into my people because I wanna lead an army. So if yeah. I have people in the same mindset, I have to do the same thing. Yeah. You know? I wanna talk about May 1st. You guys may be like, May 1st, right. Well, why are you talking about May 1st? Well, May 1st is 90 days backwards, pretty much from this event, right? We think about it, we're pretty much gonna be back around February 1st, right? So uh, it's 90 days, uh, you know, from February, March, and April. I wanna talk about condensing timeframes. One of the most important things I feel like I'm trying to really impress upon everyone on this virtual event is this is cool. It looks really good. Corporate staff put a lot of money in this virtual event, but what's the, what's the actual intention of this? Why are, we doing, why are we here? Why are we in Nashville? Why are we all dressed up? The reason we're here is not for the event. And you may be like, well, what do you mean? You're at the event, it's for the event. It's actually not. The reason we're here is for May 1st, right? The reason for here is what happens in the next 90 days mm. from this event. Uh, one of my mentors, we were running an event, and one thing he said, he said, do you know why you have an event like this? And someone raised their hand and they said, well, the reason why you have events is to sign people up, to make money. The reason, no, and he interrupted, he goes, no, that's not why you have an event. And I was like, oh, well, that's why I thought we had an event. Someone else raised their hand. Is it to get the training, to get the knowledge, the tools, the information, to get to the next, no, that's not why you have an event. I was like, okay. And he's like, why do you have an event? And no one answered, no one knew. He said, the only reason you have an event is to have another event, and then another event, and so on and so forth, right? So there's consistently something to look forward to, and what you guys have all experienced, because you guys have all done this, is when you do that, you condense timeframes. What normally would take you, you know, X amount of time to make $10,000 a month, you're able to do it in a third of the time, or in half the time. So. What, what I want to talk about now, another open dialogue, I'm going to start with you, Cam, is the next 90 days. Because I know you've done blitzes. I know you've done crazy, balls to the wall, nonstop, aggressive, no breaks, uh, mo momentum and movement where it's almost like, I'm trying to think of a way to compare it to something. It, it's almost like doing uh, like two days in, in college or something where you're just like, look, for the next you know, X amount of time, don't call me, don't text me. I'm either gonna be working out or I'm gonna be asleep, right? But when you do that, the results are crazy. And all of you have done this successfully. So I want you to share with all the people that are at this virtual summit the next 90 days, what you're gonna be doing, what they need to emulate, what they need to follow. And when you're, when you're sharing this information, I don't want you to think about the person that's watching that's like, yes, I'm excited, I'm ready to go, right? I want you to think of the person, like I said earlier, laptops on their chest, double chin, they're in bed, they're on TikTok scrolling while this is going on. <laughs> they had four people that said they were gonna join that maybe didn't. They haven't enrolled a new person in maybe like 60 days. They're in, but they're just, they're, they're dipping their toe in their water, in the water. They're not, they're not really going. How do you get those people ready to rock, ready to go, and what are you guys doing? So May 1st comes around and people are really earning a new income they never have seen, even seen before. Good question. Um, 
it, it, it's, it would take a really long time to answer all of the that, and, and I don't want to take anything away from. I know there's going to be some plans that are going to be shared with the 90-day run that we're about to go on. Um, I'll, I'll share a little bit of a story. Um, for me, one of my first network marketing company it was eight years ago. I had never heard of a 90-day run. I'd never heard of a blitz. I'd never heard of anything like this before, where where you're making a decision. I remember hearing about it, and and what the plan was is you made a decision to condense the time frames and change the trajectory at which your team was growing. You change the trajectory at, at, at which your business is growing, and. Um, I remember I wrote down some goals and I was asked to write down goals that I didn't know I didn't know if, if I could actually achieve it and um, and I needed to I, I, I attacked it at the time that my mentor that was telling me explaining what we needed to do they they were explaining that I needed to come at it with another level of intensity I needed to come to I need to let the people know that are in my life that are not a part of my business people my, my friends family look if you're really gonna go in and do a 90 day run, I'm not gonna be able to pick up all the phone calls. I'm not gonna be able to watch all of the games on Sunday for, uh, for in the NFL. I'm not gonna be able to just hang out and go get drinks. During this 90 day time period, I'm going to be sacrificing more so I can also achieve more. And during this time, I, I didn't know if it was actually possible. I had never done it before. And I remember, um, at that time, I had about 400 active on my team. And it was a very exciting time. Again, first network marketing company. And I wrote down a goal, and I was like, all right, 1,600. 1,690 days. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I remember we had meetings every other day. We had trainings every other day. We, were t we had a goal of how many people we were gonna be talking to on a daily basis, weekly basis, monthly basis. And from taking that action every single day in the first month, we went from 400 to 800. We doubled, our, my business doubled. I had never doubled my business mm. in 30 days. And I'm sure you guys, with the experience you have, you've, you've done this before, but doing that, I was like, this is, this is the most incredible thing I have. This, and at that time, I was falling asleep at my computer on call. I, like, I, I had no more energy, I'd wake up, I'd wake up to, to messages. We had, we had people bought into the run and doing it, and so many people won. The next 30 days after that, we hit, we hit 1,500 people. So in, not even just in 90 days, but in 60 days, we, I had quadrupled my team. So this, to me, is one of the most incredible strategies to be able to grow your business, but it takes the level of intensity and sacrifice for this time period to actually be able to achieve it. You're not gonna be able to do it by spending just as amount of time as you have been on, on Netflix, by surfing the web. You have to be much more intentional with your time. Yeah. 100%. So I just believe in the 90 day run, of course you have to be, you have to be committed. Again, it goes back to what I said, destination and just exposure. How can you expose your business? So in my personal 90 days, just to give you guys some advice, um, I plan on just mapping out where do I want to be at in 90 days? That's the first thing. And set goals for yourself on where you want to be at. And understanding that it's 2021, guys. Like, social media is it. I know there's a lot of people that are not able to use their phones or whatever case may be because you're about 50 or plus years old, extra kids, uh, to help you out with everything. But just using those tools and just leveraging every single resource, whether it's belly to belly, whatever case may be, exposure to your business is going to be key. But for a lot of you guys right now, understanding that we're in the situation we're in, in this pandemic, we have to adapt. In business, you have to adapt. So in this 90-day run, I plan on exposing the business as much as possible, whether just telling the good news about the products, whether it's just sharing results in a private group with a disclaimer, whether it's me on YouTube all day, every day, so people can see and hear every single thing that's going on. Exposure, 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 because just like marketing, if you see it multiple times, you end, you're gonna end up buying it. I remember, I remember there was the, uh, the Popeye chicken sandwich. I did not want to eat it. <laughs> I definitely didn't want to eat it. I'm like, everyone keeps on showing the Popeye chicken sandwich. Eventually I went to go eat it. So just like with your business, if people keep seeing the plan every single day, every single week, and they're seeing you consistently pushing it out there, that will help you in your 90 day run to expose it because some people, to be honest, don't find their success within the 90 days, but it's 
after the 90 days, after all the exposure happens and the little success that you do have ends up tripling your business. Mm. Was it good? Sorry. It's a pompous chicken sandwich. <laughs> Didn't live up to the hype. Love it, good stuff. Thank you for looking at me when you said double chin. And thank you for looking at me when you said 50. So I appreciate that. So um, glad to be the token fat old guy here. I'm just kidding. Uh, but no, I mean, Cameron said best, right? Compressing time frames, right? The reason why 90 days works is the same reason with compounding, right? Why are we attracted to this product? Because you can compound your money, right? You can, right? When it grows a certain amount per day, per month, whatever you can. And it's the same thing here with uh, yeah, growing your business, right? Compressing time frames. If you do more action in a less period of time, you're gonna grow faster. And it doesn't matter where you're at in your business, right? Cameron, first time his business ever doubled, right? He went from 400 to 800. If you have one person in your business, you can double that this month, right? So it doesn't matter where you're at. It's just take more action now. Mm. Commit to yourself to say, hey, I want something better, right? Uh, Mount's gonna outline an incredible plan coming up here in your future. Follow it to a T, whatever sacrifices you have to make, go do it, right? Find out why you need to make this happen for your business and go do it. So, I mean, we've done it a handful of times in our business and it's incredible, right? You sacrifice one thing, but you gain so much further on. And, and, I, and that's why this business and Avori Prime just clicked for me. It was one day, I've been on the product, Cameron had called me and said, hey, how's the product working? I'm like, let me check again. And I looked at it and I'm like, oh my goodness gracious, because what this product does is the same thing you going on massive action and taking a 90 day plan and just put everything and putting a plan together and just going and making it happen. Mm. It's the same thing here. So when you combine the two together, that's why we're all here. Yeah. And you know, I gotta say in a 90 day run, all my success has always been because of a 90 day run. Year after year, I've realize sometimes you just have to put your back against the wall and that's how you're going to achieve greater for yourself and mm -hmm. a lot of times people don't know what that looks like and you have to make all the sacrifices you sometimes just don't talk to people that you were talking to every day for 90 days you find yourself on the road you find yourself sleeping on floors when you're early on to go travel to teams and you know you, you put yourself in the trenches and a lot of times people don't know what that means is that delayed gratification effect if you want to get to the next level sometimes you have to have delayed gratification you need to be willing to work harder now than you're getting paid for to later get paid more than you're working oh. and you know so many people miss that part of it because that's really any business this is a business it's a real business yeah. and in order to launch any business you need to put your back against the wall you need to go on a run maybe that means you stop going to the gym and you gain 10 pounds over the next 90 days okay hey, are you in a better situation hey it happens yeah hey, hire it a happens. trainer <laughs> it totally happens I call my wife and let her know that plenty <laughs> hire a trainer on day 91 yeah. well but here's the other thing too that all of you guys have brought up in your own individual ways is that most companies, you do a 90 day blitz, right? You go take 400 people to 1600, right? And now May 1st comes around and you got 1600 people. In most companies, 120 days after the 90 day blitz, a lot of those people phase out. They quit, they leave, they do other things, they go to Popeyes, they don't stay, right? <laughs> but, but the reason why that happens is like Nick had mentioned, they just don't have great products. The products just don't keep, keep people around. This is what's so unique about us is that you do a 90 day blitz in Avoria Prime and you triple your business, quadruple your business in 90 days. I'm not gonna make guarantees, but I would say most of those people will probably stick around after those 90 days. So if you were to take a year, you know, January 1st, 2021 to January 1st, 2022, and you bring in a thousand people to your team, right? And then those thousand people are there and they're, you know, we, I like to use a sticky business, right? It's a sticky business because they stick around in your, in your teams. And now after a year, those people are there, that's cool. But if you did that by May 1st, you still have June, July, August, September, October, all the other months, and you already did what you needed to do by January in May, where are you gonna be by January now? right? Especially if those people are staying in. You're literally going, all right, I'm going to condense time frames, you know, double my income, quadruple my income, and this is my new income now, right? This is my new normal. And that's what this is possible. For. You know, that's what people can do. That's what everyone in this panel has done. You know, Tyler, you're talking about you got to get your back against the wall. You got to stay, you know, on it and be, be going. It's not always nice suits in a studio. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, being up at 3 a.m. for calls, going to bed for an hour, getting back up for another yeah. call, you know, you know, doing Uber Eats, right? And just not leaving your house and just grinding your face off, especially with COVID. But then you have the luxury every Friday, payday, payday payday and it's a brand new income stream that you're getting, which is, you can't put words behind that, right? So here's the other piece that I wanna talk about with you guys is team culture, right? Team culture. So when you look at Avori Prime especially, Avori Prime more than a lot of other companies has a lot of unique 
individual teams, right? Like you have Mogul, Rising Mogul as your kind of group, and you have Trade Smart. You guys all have your uh, own groups as well. Then we're all under the umbrella of Avoria Prime, and there's absolutely value in building your own team culture, getting people excited about your systems, your training, your style, your way of doing things to build that brand loyalty. But there's also a, a time where you want to unite as a company, or you want to unite over the whole umbrella of what this company is, so you can rise the ships, right? As the tide rises, so do the boats. And if you're in the boat, you probably can get to your destination a little bit quicker. So that being said, how is it beneficial over the next 90 days for the company to unite? What type of things does the company need to do? The individual teams that some have their own training, some have their own styles. You know, why is it important for everyone to get on the team calls, right? You know, if you're in your community and then you have your community, yeah, you may have your own calls, but if there's an AP call, right? VP sales gets on that call, everyone gets on the call. Everyone comes together, why? So we can increase the attendees, right? Because if I'm a prospect and I get on a call and there's 27 people on that call, it's cool, right? But if we all work together and get on that call and there's 270 people, is my likelihood of clicking the link and registering for the business higher? I would say so, right? So I'll start with you again, Cam. What are some of the stuff that needs to happen over the next 90 days as we unite together under the same roof of Warrior Prime so we all move in unison these next revenue goals? Well, you, you pretty much explained it in the, the Thank question. Thank you for answering the question for us. Yeah. Appreciate that. <laughs> you pretty much explained it. Um, I mean, to kind of dive into it, I mean, showing how many people are on the calls and everyone working together in, in, in recognizing other people from other teams and their accomplishments, it, it just it shows the success that this is working. And, and ultimately, what all of the, the, all the conversations that we're having with new people, if you've just joined, and you just you're, you're you're starting to use the products, and you're excited about sharing this, and you're you're building out your testimonial. You know, if you get someone on, and they're seeing people in um, parts of Africa that are winning with this, and then they they see you know, usually at the start of, the, our, of our calls, we like to see where people are calling in from. So one of my favorite parts when I when I jump on calls is seeing where people are calling in, yeah. whether it's Australia whether it's the UK, whether it's Croatia, whether it's Canada, whether it's somewhere in South America. It's so cool to see people from all different cultures, all different walks uh, of life winning. And that to me, I always like to point that out and send that out to, uh, to people as a follow-up and say, look, there's people in Cameroon. Mm. I, I don't know how big of a group is watching in Cameroon right now. Shout out to you guys. You guys are absolutely killing it, mm -hmm. but I've never been to Cameroon. Yeah. And to hear that they're using a similar product to me, I'm, I'm from the United States, that's incredible for us to be able to have, uh, for the world to be able to have access to our products. It, so if we can come together, I think during this 90 days, and, and we can show people really what we have and that people all over the world are winning, I think that's a, a big aspect and very, very uh, powerful. Yeah. Um, it's just pretty simple uh, movement mm. and just limited momentum. I feel like if we come together and we just understand that we create a movement um, that's going to be powerful, whether it's doing calls together, whether it's small link ups with leadership, mm -hmm. um, whether it's just even touring around the different country, the world, whatever the case may be, um, to build a business. Because of everyone that's watching, you saw all these TikToks and all these different challenges. And why do people end up doing it? The same people that say, I'm not going to do that challenge. <laughs> I'm, I still didn't do the challenge, but <laughs> I, I'm not going to do the challenge. But they see a lot of people in a movement. And when we come together and you kill the ego and you actually work together, it doesn't matter what team you're on, it allows people to come in and say, you know what, it's not, not only am I joining a community of people, I'm actually joining a powerful movement. So just that camaraderie of just doing those events and those link ups, the link ups are very important. Like mm. even this right now, like this is just very important for us to show the camaraderie, the unity mm. that we could take over what we want to take over. Take, we want to take over the industry. Yeah. Nothing less, AP1 billion, man. Mm. You know, when I look at it right now, I think the, the biggest thing to increase the culture, and this goes back to actually our first company, one of the things I learned in that company is uh, no matter how many times you've seen that presentation, you sit down on the couch and you look at the presentation yes. like it's the first time you've seen it. Yes. So if you're a builder, you need to be really encouraging yourself to get on all these opportunity calls and all the discovery calls, right? You want to get on them and you want to get your people on them. And not only do you want to get your people on them, I think kind of what we have going on right now with this virtual event and there's people all around the world that have rooms packed out with people watching us right now. Yeah. Um, people do the same thing with discovery calls. 
you know, instead of a home event, have a home event, invite your friends over, watch the discovery call, and then continue your event after the call's over, mm. right? Start building a culture around the, the different calls that are going on and all the different things because there's so much value from this company that people are missing, and I think it's just because it's under-promoted. Mm. Simple, you know, if you were gonna go climb Mount Everest, are you gonna go alone? Yeah. Absolutely not, right? You're gonna take a team and you're gonna find the best team that you can go with, right? You're gonna find people that have more hair than you, that are better <laughs> looking than you. Um, no, I'm kidding, but you're gonna find a team, right, that's gonna go with you because it's gonna make it simpler and easier and better because we all have different strengths. On top of that, stories, right? So when you're on and you're plugging into what we're doing at Avori and you hear a story of someone in another country having some success, yeah. that helps your belief, right? So the more you plug in, the more your beliefs can go through the roof. And this business and this industry is literally just about belief. Yeah. Do I think I could climb my, my, Mount Everest? I don't, yeah. but I do because I've seen a lot of people do it before. Same thing, four minute mile. Four minute mile was never ran, mm -hmm. right? Someone did it and people started doing it all around the world because of that story. And so yeah. we plug in, we can do it together, right? So as a team, it's simple to climb Mount Everest. Yeah. And is it simpler to go up a mountain by hiking it? or with an escalator, yeah. and I would say an escalator. And what we're doing right now is creating momentum, going into momentum to where every single one of you can get on the escalator and head up the mountain. Yeah, you know, my, my, uh, my dad always had a quote that I absolutely loved, it was so impactful to me. You know, always say, people always want the fruit, they want the results all the time, but what they forget is, in order to get the fruit, you gotta water the tree. But the problem is, no one wants to water the tree, but the obvious thing you gotta do is you gotta fall in love with the process of watering the tree. And as you fall in love with the process of watering that tree, you get more fruit than you can possibly imagine. And normally, like he said, it's a lot quicker because if you fall in love with the watering the tree, time goes by fast because you're enjoying what you're doing. You fall in love with the process and then there's more fruit than you can possibly imagine. So let's, uh, you know, we have a little bit of time left. Let's take a turn. We can do all this. We all can work our butts off. We can take the next 90 days. We can hustle, all this stuff can happen. But if Ryder rolls on, we don't get a check from the company, that's a not a good look, right? That's a no-go. If we go to the website and it says cache error, uh, server error, and we can't log into our back office, that's a no-no, right? Uh, if we try and reach out to the owners of the company and they're on a private jet to Barbados and there's, you know, hey, we're gonna be off the grid for the next seven months, uh, you'll get paid out later. Probably not a good look, right? Well, Barbados. <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean to have uh, people running the company that you feel could be doing the right thing? You know, I don't know about you guys, but I know what it's like sometimes to be working with companies where the people that are running the show care more about how they look on Instagram than their actual revenue and the relationships they have with the people that are making the money in the first place. Mm -hmm. And one question that I have for you guys is when you look at Chris, right, the president of our company and what he's done for over 30 years in this industry, you look at Bill and his background with his technology, you look at Josh and his mathematical genius brain that he has with the numbers, and then Matt with his background in sales and driving revenue, you know, what, what do you see with the corporate staff and why does it give you that peace of mind? Because for some people out there, they don't know these guys. They don't know Chris, they don't know Matt, they don't know Josh, they don't know Bill. Why do you guys feel so comfortable with these people? I feel like it's, I feel comfortable because they're skilled in their role. Mm -hmm. Like I like to reference things to uh, the NBA, like the basketball team. Like if everyone knows their role and they're skilled in their role, they're able to win a championship. Mm -hmm. But with multiple egos running around and thinking that they got the bigger kahunas than everybody else, it just makes it harder for you to operate um, in a business. And then we as the affiliates and even the customers we get the relapse of all that. So the simple fact that everyone is skilled in their specific area of expertise of what they're supposed to do makes it much easier. And the transparency is just, I didn't realize that coming into the industry that all that type of stuff matters. When you wake up in the morning and you get that phone call, like the company disappears, like, oh my God. <laughs> like, like, it's just very just discouraging. But yeah. the simple fact that you actually have a corporate staff that is very transparent, you know what's going on, they, they're transparent with the field. That's yeah. crazy. Not just with the leadership, with the field. And they're skilled and they understand what they're doing. It makes it much easier. Yeah. Success comes from philosophies, 100%, right? So if you have the right philosophies and they, you combine them with the right intentions, great things happen, right? Mm -hmm. So you combine that with just progress and what we've done in the short period of nine months, right? You got to think about like what we've done here. And I say we, I mean them. Um, <laughs> is never been done before, right? Yeah. You know, combining this technology together in a marketplace to where you can change week to week. Yeah. That's not any simple feat, right? It'd have been much easier yeah. to say, hey, you have to pick it, and it sticks like that for a month. But it was about the customer. Mm -hmm. um, you know, combining that to be able to do that with multiple technologies, mm. right, is not simple, right? Mm -hmm. Combining and adding a VPS in and, and all the different tech that come and intertwine. There's a lot simpler way that they could have taken it and to help us have success. 
but they said, no what, we want to do it right, we want to do it best for the customer. So if we didn't have the right philosophies, right, if we didn't have the progress and growth we had, if we took the easier out, I'd be a customer. Right. Mm -hmm. But in the end, right, when you go create a whole new category, which is what we're, we're doing, we're in the process of doing, mm -hmm. and you do it the right way with the right intentions, the right philosophies, that's where magic happens, right? And that's where we can find the escalator to where you can go up the mountain. Yeah. Not sure how you add much more onto that. That was really well said. Thank you for trying. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll keep it simple. We have okay. the Avengers team. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. I, I, I mean, you look back, you look at how long they've all been in the industry, what they've done in the industry, and success always leaves clues. You can see, if you look back and you f trace back what they've done, I, I don't see how we're not going to be able to achieve and create a company, how they're not gonna be able to achieve and create a company, uh, something that they've seen. They've already had visions before and, and uh, started companies. They've been a part of companies and taken them to those goals. And what the company has done um, in the last six, seven months, they've come out with new things. And we're now at the point where pretty, everything that they said they were going to do they've now done. Yeah. So that to me shows yeah. that the breadcrumbs are, are just leading us down. It shows that we are headed in the right direction, like you said, progress. And seeing the momentum, it, it's, it's very, very telling. It's very, very telling. And, and they're, for myself and, and a lot of you guys, I know they make themselves very available. And mm -hmm. the, um, the, really the transparency, like you said, Cal, is, is massive. I mm -hmm. think the, the biggest thing when it comes to this team is the fact that most of us wouldn't want to do their job, right? Yeah. The, the, and that's the truth is there's so much work that goes on behind the scenes yeah. so that you can benefit as a customer or if you're an affiliate, so you can benefit as an affiliate. You don't have to deal with um, merchant accounts. You don't have to deal with the financials, the payouts, loading this bank account, right? Josh has so many hats, I can imagine, as the CFO himself. And then yeah. you look at the marketing department and websites and integrations, and that mixes a lot into the CTO department with Bill. And you look at this team and all the different hats that they have to wear to make sure everything just functions properly. Yeah. You know, there's so much work that goes in behind the scenes so that you get to benefit without having to do all that back end stuff. And when I look at that, I, I don't think I would ever want to run this company myself. You know, <laughs> I mean, that, so. Bless them for uh, putting the time, the effort in to really run the entire back end and make it to where we have a home and something that we can go build and, and you know, put the time in. Yeah. It's exciting. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty cool too for us. You know, if you guys don't know, uh, January was the biggest month we've had as a company so far. Uh, the month number 10 for us has been monumental, it's huge. And when you have a big month like we just did, right, you break a new record, you know, uh, as, as someone that is on the corporate side, right, they've been busting their butts working for 10 mm -hmm. months and they get this huge increase in, in revenue, how easy would it be just to pull that commission? I, I kind of parallel it to the software, right? If you're trading your software and you have a really big month, right, you get a big return on your software, how tempting is it to just pull that money out and get a withdrawal, right? But at the same time, if you left it in there, and you let that compound for the following month, you're gonna make more money, right? And it was cool because, uh, you know, we all came in and all of the corporate staff brought us all in to a private invite only uh, mastermind basically yesterday for about two or three hours where Chris led the entire session. And he talked about how with all of this revenue that has come in, here's what they are doing from an infrastructure perspective to make sure that what we've done so far is what happened in a month in a day. And for us, that gets us really excited, right? Because it makes it go, okay, you're not just siphoning funds out to go get a Gucci bag. <laughs> you're actually doing this in a way where you're making sure the infrastructure is getting bigger and bigger and bigger for everyone to be in a position where we can buy thousands of Gucci bags eventually. Hell, we can buy all of the Gucci store. And, that, and, that's, and that's the mindset that we want people so we can trust that. And uh, you, you guys said it, it's just falling in love with the work. It's falling in love with the process. Uh, and it's being, we, being disciplined enough to be behind those computers. So, you know, as we begin to transition out, as we begin to close out this, session you guys have all been amazing uh, you know again you guys aren't gonna have another opportunity to speak to any anyone on this virtual event other than right now uh, we do have a little bit more time just any last-minute thoughts you guys want to share with the people here uh, so you can leave them with something before we dive into the next session yeah um, just don't overthink it um, don't overthink it and plug in it there's no secret and I, I don't want to talk for very long um, there's no secret to uh, generating success and in, in winning with this you just need to plug in you need to show up and you need to invest your time into your future success it's as simple as that so if you're taking notes right do that just write that down do that over the course of the next 90 days and there's I don't see how you're not going to be in a better spot in 90 days if you just follow that for me it's just 
chasing freedom. If you understand you don't chase money and you chase freedom, it, it makes it so much easier and sweeter because if you lose your freedom, you're gonna fight for it. Yeah. And when you think about money, it goes and come, it comes and goes every single time. So when you chase freedom, it makes it easier. So that's just my philosophy. Understand your destination and chase that freedom that you're fighting for. That you're fighting for. And to understand what the next 90 days looks like, there's gonna be new product launches, there's gonna be more resources spring, uh, coming to the table. I mean, really where we're going in the next 90 days to six months to a year, I mean, this is, this is a rocket ship. And you know, when uh, you have a seat on the rocket ship, you don't ask what seat, you just get in and buckle up. <laughs> Absolutely, for me, it's just <laughs> giving value, right? Literally set a goal to give as much value as you can, right? For me, I'm gonna set some personal goals, but guess how I'm gonna hit those personal goals? Go helping as many people as I can. New people being shared with the products, existing people on the team being helped with the products, but also exist people on the team going and helping hitting their goals. So wake up every single day and say, how can I give value to the world today? How can I give value to my, my family, my team? And then just go make it happen with some massive activity. Awesome. Well, Nick, Cameron, Calvin, Tyler, thank you so much for taking the hour to share your wisdom. We really appreciate it. Uh, guys, I know you probably got a lot of value out of this as well. I know even I did. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna give a quick five minute break and we're gonna finally do our third and final raffle. So we're gonna do a five minute break and then we're gonna do our third and final raffle. You're not gonna wanna miss that. And we're gonna see who gets these big prizes. Again, guys, thank you so much.